Hey guys, Basil and Will from Grayson Hobby, and today we have yet another Diatone quad. Another Shocking! Freaking quad. Hey, if you want new stuff, this is the time to be in the hobby. And everyone we get, it's always an upgrade from the previous one. Yeah, it's 2019. They got to come out with new products. Um, the market's changing. Diatone's really getting on board with standardizing their product line, making parts interchangeable from one model to another. So this is the Diatone 249 Plus. The names are terrible from Diatone. The 249 we did before was a two inch. The 249 Plus is a normal frame, but the plus means two and a half inch. Yeah. Follow along. Also, Diatone offer, also offers a unified probe, which is this is it. They also offer a regular one with a run cam. There's yet oh, another one. There's and one they have a 249 split. Plus HD, which is with the mini split. So if you can't follow along, we'll put a little chart down below. We digress. So anyways, this video, we're gonna actually show you how to install a receiver. Um, these are actually plug and play, ready to go with the FreeSky RSXR. These are very simple to get going. Um, pretty close to a bind and fly product without the receiver. Right, yeah. I mean, it's a true plug and play. Then we're going to get our trusty old pocket radar gun. We're going to go outside and do a speed test and um, hopefully not kill anybody out there. <laughs> then we're going to fly these new batteries we just got. They are the GNBs. They are um, real popular with the t Tiny Hawks. And we're going to see how good these do. And um, unbox it, and uh, what else we're gonna do? That's about it. And we're gonna go over the components and uh, tell you why you need one. <laughs> All right, here it is. Holy. That would be... Oh, wow. Got to be some of your yeah. oscillation problems there? Yeah, that's probably all my vibration, that prop. I'm, that first speed pass when I caught the branch, that was... <laughs> I, was I was not like, expecting 70 miles an hour uh, on okay. this guy. Were you? No, honestly, I wasn't expecting... That's just 3S pack, right? Yeah, just that's 3S. That's that GNB, that good yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, secret hack tip of the day. So, if you don't know if you want the 2-inch or the 2.5-inch, and, and you're kind of getting into it, well, you could buy the two and a half inch by two inch props and then put two inch guards on it. Um, then you have the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. So realistically, yet again, just like last year, the M2.5 is the better buy. So the plus means better. Yeah. Two and a half inch, this guy was probably one of our better sellers last year. Yeah, so this is the 2019 Not this version. Not the 2.5, the older version. Yeah, so we have now, the interesting part on this is the older 2.5 had 1106 motors at a different KV. These are still the 1105 5500 KV that you'll find on the two inch model. So they're using the same motors, everything the same between the two and two and a half inch. The only difference is the longer arms and the props. Wow. So they're very much trying to make everything standard parts. Uh, so it's going to so be really very it's almost easy like a road. two inch stretch. Yeah, pretty I mean, much. There's, there's nothing much to it different. Just longer arms. That's all yeah. it is. Um, so as far as that goes, so if, what, uh, you may I may miss what, what's the KV these guys? Fifty five hundred KV, and those these are also the Mamba Mamba eleven oh fives, yeah, just like the two inch. Um, this one features the Unify stack, so there's two options available uh, from Diatone. One has a um, run cam two hundred milliwatt, and the other one has the Unify uh, V three on it. And so, if you're, if you're unfamiliar with that, what does the Unify mean? The Who Unify is a TBS. That's, TBS. That's a more TBS. expensive VTX. It's a 800 milliwatt capable versus only 200 um, smart audio, etc. The okay. higher end VTX. Yes. yes. Okay. Still got the Micro Swift on it, the 2019 Micro Swift, um, and the nice green color. The clear body is installed. It does come with a white and a black canopy if you want. Um, it comes with clear props, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything. As far as the receiver wire, uh, it has the RXSR connector hanging out and all you gotta do is run the wire through and then get the RXR like we did in the prior video and just stick that sucker back in there and you're good to go. That's a pretty easy install. We'll yeah. link the video to the two inch. It installs the same way because there's basically the same frame. Yeah, so an RXR receiver and some eight millimeter shrink tube and you're good to go. And real quick, I don't, you probably mentioned it, what's that stack just to go over everybody. This is the Mamba. Okay, so the stack is the Mamba Mini uh, 405. So it's a 25 amp speed control and the F4 flight controller, and the very top of the stack is the Unify Pro. 
Gotcha. And that's probably one of the best stacks I've seen in a while for, um, overall. Yeah, I mean, it's in got a current of, sensor. It's F4. It works very well. Everything's there. Um, for the price for what you're getting, if you get the stack, the combo yeah. we have, right that. Now, one thing I have to give props to Dieton for is look how clean the solder job's on this is. I mean, they've done very good. I mean, all the wires, the older models, the wires would come outwards and then bend in. They've actually wired it up backwards like we suggested in the past, and they're staying consistent with that. So it's just making a very nice clean. You don't have a bunch of wires hanging out um, like other products out there. So that makes it a very nice clean setup out of the box. That's nice. That does look nice. So even though this is a, I know we went over this again, but even though this is a plug and play, it's really a plug and you really play. This is the true plug and play version. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I did on this one is out of the box, I set my, I mounted the receiver, made sure my channel mapping was correct for the right receiver, um, RXR, you know, and then um, set my flight modes. Um, and then I changed the rates after the first flight because the yaw was, out of the box, the yaw was way too high compared to the um, roll and pitch rates on this one. So I lowered that in accordance. Um, other than that, Pretty good. So I would check your rates out of the box before you go fly it. Make sure they're not too sensitive for you, and then go from there. Gotcha. Battery. What? Uh, was this one on the 6S? No. Um, <laughs> three or four cell. Three or I would four. Probably okay. stick with three cell again. I I really haven't. I mean, these come tuned for what? Out of the box. Three cell. Three cell. So uh, even that. I mean, four cell. You're just asking for trouble in these small quads. These yeah. are 1105 motors. Um, just because they can doesn't mean you need to do it. If you know how to tune and you're willing to make the sacrifice of possibly burn up a motor, stuff like that, go for four right. cell. If you just want to fly and enjoy it, and stick with three cell. It. It's plenty fast. I promise you that. So we got some new batteries here from GMB. GMB, and uh, they're quite impressive. Yeah, I mean they've been doing really good. I like the uh, the shorter leads on them, the shorter wire, so it's really nice. The batteries are not expensive at all for their size. Um, they have good low internal resistance out of the box, and they've been working really good. Yeah, and that one we're gonna use that for the demo, right? Yeah, we're using this for the two and a half, and just because we have nothing else. <laughs> well, I mean, there's other sizes. There's right. 650, which probably a little heavy, um, and then you can go down to like from other brands like the Longbows, the 450s, and all that. So. Pretty much the batteries I'll probably end up using for the most part is going to be the 450 Longbow and the 550 GMB. Gotcha. And there is not much difference in the size? No, you'll just get a little longer flight with the 550. Uh, the 450 might actually fly a little better out of the box because of the less weight to yeah. it. Um, make them a little more floaty feeling. But other than that, I mean, we're not talking a, a ton of weight difference. Right. All right, so this bad boy is a two and a half inch This is two and a half inch. So let's see so what he makes. Motor to motor should be 115 millimeters. It's 115 from corner to corner. The actual length of this quad from the front of the motors, let's actually the front, not the shaft, to the back is 90 mil or 85 millimeters, so it's pretty short. And the width is 105. So for those who don't know metric, let's let's see. Uh, oh, who? No. So it's a two and a half inch. Bye. Wait, is it really two and a half inch? Yes, that's the whole point of being called a two and a half. <laughs> no, it's not. There's four and a half right there. Okay, it's not a two and a half. I don't know. The, oh, the, two and a half inch frost. It's two and a half inch All right, all right, all right. You missed my whole point. We're going to have to cut that out. <laughs> Apparently, I have to ask the dumb questions and answer the dumb questions. Four and a half inches. Four and a half inches from motor to motor. The length, three and a quarter. Yeah. Three and a quarter. And width is just over four and okay. a quarter. Well, for those of you who are new, the, when we measure the quads by the prop size. The old days, we measured from motors. So you had a 200 size. Usually went by frame size. By yeah. frame size, right. From motor to motor. Now we measure quads by the prop size. And we measure them by the English standards and not metric. Why? So this is with the RXSR installed, props installed. This is ready to fly. Without the battery. Hold on, that zero? Yeah. We have a flying weight of 85.9. 80, 85.9. So basically, guys, these things weigh the same. You have more prop area at the same RPMs. You have more, more thrust, more lift, more speed. So, um, I mean, these are higher pitch props as well. So you're going to get a lot more performance out of the two and a half than you would out of the two inch out of the box with stock parts. And parts, if you need parts to get the two and a half inch props or the two inch. So we're going to do a quick speed test with the old uh, radar gun. And then we'll do max flight time. Hold. 70, man. 70. Oh, 68. Miles an hour. Holy cow, this thing's fast. These are out of the box rates. I've been a little jello in the video. 
or not uh, a little vibration. Very high. I think uh, in terms of just safety, we should probably more space we need more space. This. Yeah. So we'll say seventy, at least seventy. So what's in the box here? Let's just go ahead and open this one up. Uh, you got your stickers, obviously. This is a little different. I don't know if this is gonna be consistent with them, uh, but you're getting a black, a white body, and a clear body with this version. Oh wow, so That's all not three something three. I saw on the regular two inch. So that's the quad. And then you got a little manual here. Um, basically it just has the pinout diagrams, a little spec sheet, stuff like that, and the flight controller, the ESC, stuff like that. It's also on the website yeah. right there. We'll yeah. Link is blue. You got uh, 2540 Gem Fan props. So you got nice little props. Clear um, looks like. And then we got our bag of goodies. So these pretty much are all consistent. All yeah, Dietone standardized very well. Your zip ties. That's going to be for your mounting receiver. Mounting receiver, receiver antenna, etc. Extra battery strap. Oh, so it comes with one there and yeah. one there. Yeah, that's cool. And then you got a little harness. This goes from the speed control to the flight controller. And that's a little buzzer lead there. And that would be right. Yeah, so it gives you an there. extra one of those leads. Then you have a little bag of screws. That is my favorite new yeah. accessory, Dietone adds. So assortment of M2 screws, anywhere from 2x3 uh, to 2x9. Little rubber uh, anti-slip pads. So if you want to mount the battery certain ways and all that, you can put in there. Uh, I actually didn't put one on mine yet, but okay. um, I probably will go back and do that. Um, so it comes with that. comes with the buzzer, an XT30 connector, and two extra little plastic um, hex nuts. So if you take the body off and lose one, you got spares. Okay. So that buzzer, just real quick, that's a board buzzer. Yes. And that's a plug and play. Plug in, no solder and all that. And there's a little empty guy right in there next to my thumb. That's where it goes. So basically that wire right there hanging out is where it plugs into. All right. It's easy enough. So, and the last thing that comes with it is a set of prop screws. So mm -hmm. you got screws to mount your props. Mount your props. So different than any other one so far is there are no prop guards. Yes. Okay. So this one has the extra bodies, but no, uh, the extra canopies, but no prop guards. So I don't think they have a two and a half inch prop guard, which okay. at this speed, I don't think it's going to do it. It would kind of look silly on that prop. big, it would probably look silly because I've seen some five inch quads with prop guards. They look toyish when you get to that size. Yeah. Um, given the speed of this guy and the amount of power it has behind it, I would say it's probably not going to do. It looks the, like a prop guard. Prop guards, thirty miles an hour probably won't do much, but just they'll be just the flex in a crash and jam the prop up, and then you're more likely to burn right. them up. So, so there you go. Them. If you're good with the speeds, and this is for you. Yeah, this is not a beginner one. All right, so there you have it. Um, not a bad little quad. Um, no, it's we uh, will say over seventy miles an hour. It's very fast. So way faster than we were expecting, especially since we were flying whoops for the last. Yeah, I've so. been flying so many like single cell quads and micros and stuff like that. I went to fly this and yeah, I it's punched that cell. Oh yeah. crap! You know. So you can even see with the bent prop, this thing still flies fairly good. Yeah, I mean the prop, the whole, almost the entire flight I have here is going to be a bent prop because I hit it within the first like ten seconds. The first of flight. pass, yes. Um, so, and it was pretty well bent. So, it's, it's so done. just for the record, on the GNB 550, we hit seventy miles an hour, and you flew how long did you fly? I got a four minute flight. I think it was like three hundred or. Three minutes and 45 seconds yeah. when I land it or so. So we'll say uh, we'll round it up to a four minute flight because not many people are gonna do speed tests like that. So yeah. um, great little quad. It's got high end components. It's got the Mamba motors, which we really don't know who makes those. Yeah. Granted, it. it's not a hot day out when the motors came down cold. So they weren't hot or anything like that. It did have some oscillation, but that's probably because of the bent prop. Yeah. Um, but with this kind of model and the high performance of it, uh, if you don't know how to do tuning, I'd probably stick with a two inch. If you do know how to do some tuning, the two and a half, and the, you know, if you want to go to four cell and all that, you're definitely gonna need to need to know how to tune this. But if you're looking for a micro-ish quad with top notch components, um, this guy is it. Yeah, I mean, it's typical Dyson fashion. I mean, it's oozing quality. Everything's made really nice. The screws are custom machined. Um, it's got a great camera on it, great VTX. The flight controller's been good. The speed controller's been good. Um, I mean, the motors are super smooth. So that, I, I think, at first I was kind of surprised that they left Sunny Sky for these motors, but after flying them and how smooth they are, I kind of agree that was the yeah. right move. Now, I am surprised they left the same motors, exact same motors they did as the 2-inch. Yes, I was thinking these were going to be 1106s again on the 2.5-inch, yeah. but they are still the 1105s. All right. So we will ask Dietone what gives with that. Well, they averaged it out. I mean, it was 1104, 1106 on their older yeah. model. Now it's 1105 on both. So it makes sense. Okay. Next time when the weather gets to be nicer, we're going to do a shootout between three different battery packs and see. Yeah. 
because um, we get a lot of questions. Guys want to know how long they fly, and if, will a bigger battery get you longer flying time? In theory, yes, but then there's a trade-off. There's a power to weight yeah. power to weight ratio that eventually the bigger battery will get you less flying time. So we're going to shoot with the average battery packs: 550, 650, 450, all relative to the same C rating, and see speed. Maybe, maybe not. Definitely in flight times. Um, and we have to have a relatively warm day, otherwise yes. the test is useless. Right. So. It's 65 while somebody cries about the weather. Anyways. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs>